Real World AIP. I'm Stacy. I just got home from work, had some dinner, I'm having another little Raynaud's flare up. I'm just freezing. Um, and I want something hot to drink that I could put my coconut oil in. I was online the other day and I saw this stuff and I was like, I have to try this. And so I'm gonna, I haven't even opened it yet. You might be interested in it, especially if you're on elimination phase because you can't have coffee, which is a reintro. This is called Coffig. They, they put the words coffee and fig together. Very um, clever name. I want a cup of coffee. Would you like a cup of coffee? They're not paying me to promote this, by the way. Although the link to it below is an affiliate link, so like I get like two cents or something if you buy it through that link. It's it's just roasted figs, 100% roasted figs, um, and there's only five calories per serving um, and less than a gram of carbs. I'm boiling some water. I'm gonna try this stuff out. I'm hoping it's delicious and I can put my coconut oil in there and just warm myself up and not be up all night. The water is starting to boil. This is um, this is my you know teaspoonish amount of coconut oil, and this is actually two cups of boiling water. So the directions on this say to use a half a teaspoon per cup of water. So I'm going to use a full teaspoon. It also says if you like a stronger beverage, add a little more. Ooh, it smells really good. Smells like figs, actually. I'm gonna use a heaping teaspoon. So I like a strong beverage. This smells really yummy. If it tastes like it smells, it's gonna be good. I got my immersion blender, and I'm just gonna froth it up. Now I'm seeing these coffee ground-like things. The directions don't say that you don't have to strain it. It says you can strain it. Let's see how that works. It looks like coffee. It's got little grounds. I don't know, I'll let you know how the texture is on those. We could always strain them. All right, here it goes. I'm, I know this, I feel like this is gonna taste really good. I'm just worried about the those coffee ground type things. What do they say about those? Maybe steeped and strained. You can actually put, brew this in the coffee pot too. So maybe I won't like the grounds in. That smells really good. Okay. One, all right, no, the grounds have to be strained. What, they should really be like strain the, like no, you have to strain these, like strain it, but that tastes really good. That tastes so good. <laughs> and there's crunchy stuff in it, but all right. I'm gonna strain this, <laughs> and this is gonna be like the most amazing thing. I, yeah, you gotta. You could just see like there's all these grounds in it. What were they thinking? I mean, just put in the directions. Strain it before you drink it. Don't make it an option. It's definitely not an option. But the flavor, like, wow. It's like you wouldn't miss coffee. You will not miss coffee if you drink this. I literally, I love it. I will like continue to buy this, even though I've reintroed coffee and I drink coffee. I will, I mean, I will continue to buy this. It's like friggin' really yummy. Just strain it. Make sure to strain it. <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, um, there's a link to where you can buy the coffee down below. And um, yeah, there you go. If you miss coffee, coffee. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe below. I put new videos out every Thursday, sometimes Sunday too. And I uh, hope to see you soon. Until then, be healthy. <laughs>